Frankie, we have some business. Business that is unfinished. Today on Box Mac. Three things to take care of today. Right, there was yet another spiral in the back. Yeah, I was gonna get to that. That was our big reveal for the show. <laughs> One more box of spirals. <laughs> Best yet, friend. Then we've got the Blount Mac. It's been about typical, what, two weeks? <laughs> Maybe we'll get to this next week. I don't know if we're gonna have time this week. <laughs> and then we've got this Mac. Yo! My coworker, Tom Barry, donated this to me when he came uh, back from a, a vacation in Japan. Mm -hmm. I, I don't speak one lick. I mean, I, all I see are shapes. These guys, I wouldn't say you speak Japanese. No. But they both have worked in the Japanese language industry. That's right. We both, Zach still does, in fact. 12 years. <laughs> 12 years in the Japanese language industry. Zach's reading is much better than my reading. We both know a lot of words. I just do basic subtitle editing for right. Japanese anime. Mostly just Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll. Yeah. Distributor of fine animes. Distributor of fine animes, go to, you know, crunchyroll.com slash boxmag. It doesn't exist because we don't have any sponsors. But I do see them sponsor the occasional YouTube video. They, yeah. they sponsor all kinds of stuff, but probably not a show about box macaroni and cheese. So you can read it because you have to do some copy editing? And I mean, pl text placement on screen. On screen and stuff. And you've always acted like you could speak Japanese. I mean, I, I can I could speak basic conversational Japanese. I'm sure Zach could too. I did timing, Zach does editing. Right. And we did it together a number of years ago in the fan subbing group. I still watch a lot of anime, so I still have a lot of phrases, but my reading is really full. I used to be able to read uh, the alphabets. There's three alphabets in Japanese. That's one, that's one, and then the more complicated symbols are another one. They mix and match alphabets? Yeah. One is for foreign words, one is for domestic words, and one is for pictographic language. The real challenge is we need to understand what the prep even is. It's not like the Icelandic Mac where it was really just an American Mac in Iceland. This is something very different. It's a gratin set. Oh, is that what the word is? Yeah. Gratin. 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 I think it's, I think it's, um. Mac Macarona. Oh, no, on, no. Hold on, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that, this is on the show because we felt a little bad, I guess, right? So I've got one water pour, water thing uh, going. Water pool. You want me to take care of that? Yeah, you can You can just run that whole show. Oh, Frankie, I forgot today. I have to do this with my salt thing. Oh, you got transfer? Yes. You bought discount salt? <laughs> yes. It was on half price, but it's a little crushed and the, the cover won't close. So I'm going to pour this salt into that salt okay, container. He's doing it very intelligently with a funnel and all. All right, we've successfully transferred the salt. I win at salt transferring. Okay, are we ready to go on with the show? <laughs> yeah. Now we can ward off evil spirits. That's a new class of B-roll, Frankie. Sauce mix. Sauce mix. Sauce mix. Oh dear, look at these noodles. Macaroni. macaroni. I yeah. can get that one. Four characters and we know it's macaroni. It's ma ca -ro -ni. ca ro ni They do this a lot. They take English phrases and everybody knows them in Japan and then they will apply the Japanese phonetics to them with the, this alphabet. Uh, All the sounds in Japanese always end with a vowel sound. Box maku. Yeah, baku maku, yeah, it's a classic joke, right? For each consonant, there's all the vowel forms. So there's ka, ki, ku, ke, ko for ke, sa, shi, su, se, so for that, and so on and so forth. The only one that isn't is n. There's na, ni, nu, uh, there's ne, and no, but there's also n as just a character which is by itself. Did you guys actually have to like research how to read and speak Japanese or did you start to pick it up? I used a website that actually could learn yeah. on site the, the hiragana and katakana. Yeah, I, I, I did too, but I've forgotten a lot of them because I didn't I'm, use them. I'm terrible with the kanji. but I am too. An, an average Japanese school child needs to know three or 4,000 by the time they're about 12. There's way more than that. There's several thousand of these symbols. You need a couple thousand to be literate. I maybe know 300 of the most common. This is katakana, which is the foreign The alphabet. easiest to read? Yes. But like, see this symbol right there? I don't know what that symbol means. Like, we could probably infer it. Like, what is this? This is whole, home, home style? So there's like 10 noodles in the package. Yeah, very small. And this is supposed to serve four, by the way. <laughs> oh, the Japanese are funny. White sauce? This is supposed to oh, serve white. four. Isn't that whole? Whole. Whito. 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 Whito sauce. <laughs> What does it mean, Lassie? White sauce. White sauce. Oh, right. This sounds gonna be with every single word on the pamphlet. I don't know why they have the hall there, because you, you want to say white. 
White. For people who say white instead of white, <laughs> it's for Hank Hill. That's a white sauce. Oh. But then they have all these ingredients we definitely don't have. Yeah. Onion. How do you know that that's not just like the recommended or the, you could also try. Well, you yeah. can see them clearly adding it in the picture direction. I don't read pictures. Do we want to do the onion? I got onions. And what's the next one down? That sh that's the shrimp. Shrimp, mizu, water. The one of the kanji I do know. Salad oil. Um, you are going to use bata. 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 <laughs> There's milk. Miruku, yeah. Is it two bata? That's not miruku. No, what is it? Ginyu. Gin gyunyu. Chizu. Chizu. Do we have to add cheese? <laughs> bata and chizu. Maybe we should just prep it like a normal Mac. No, no. We're never gonna get finished this episode. <laughs> what about this poor guy waiting? <laughs> waiting for his time in the sun. And what if this is done? We're gonna have that totally done before we <laughs> I, I better it. actually sample it. Does anyone have any apps on their phone that can translate Japanese instantly? There was hey guys. This is, this is done. <laughs> Nobody cares about the spirals. <laughs> I'll try the spirals out. We haven't even started the other one. Excuse me. <laughs> Definitely not gonna be able to make that back, are we? Well, you could if you if you got over yourselves. Do any of you care about that spirals? That doesn't give a flying crap about the spirals. How's that Mac, Frankie? Box Mac really jumped the shark around this point. <laughs> they can't even read Japanese. <laughs> As appropriate. Aha! Aha! No shrimp is appropriate. This is just the best thing ever, Zach. Look, I had to just wipe my finger over what I wanted to know, and it just gives me the datum. I align the text, it finds all the text, and then I draw over like a scratch ticket what text I'm interested in, stop the fire, and add two. So they're saying that at that point, I should stop cooking and add these ingredients. The yeah. fire. Well, this is just the best thing ever. I could totally just survive in Japan now. Stir fry? You stir fry the beginning. Uh, I need some plates. <laughs> Heat the salad oil, stir fry the onion. This is obviously very important directions. Oh, you cook the onion and the shrimp together. There's the shrimp. That's where you add okay. the shrimp. Basically, you're sauteing the onions and the and shrimp. And the shrimp with then the salad oil. Turn off the heat. Yeah. And then you add in the other crap. Then you add in the then other you bring ingredients. It back, probably back to a boil. And then you finish in the oven with optional cheese on top. <laughs> 10 to 12 minutes. <laughs> Were we in your way? Yeah. We're ready to try our mac. All right. Mmm, a bit more cheese. The cheese sauce is all right. It's very salty. It is actually, was that you? Did I even remember to add salt in? You did. You did add salt. But I just added the normal amount. Oh, pretty good. The prevalent flavor is salt. Coming up next on Box Mac. <laughs> I have too many things missing. I don't have the uh, shrimp. Okay, so we're gonna have to do it on a different episode sometime. I think so, but we gotta try this one too. All right, well, this, this is okay. Be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've had this going for quite a while now. Six yeah. months, it's ready. You were great at managing that Mac, Frankie, let me just say. Oh, yeah? Zach and I were- Fumbling around yeah, over here. Yeah. Like a couple oh, of gaijin. Okay. What's a gaijin? Uh, a foreigner. <laughs> well, we're sorry that it was a false start on the Japanese one. Sometime when we can procure the proper ingredients, we'll do that, but we've got a very old Mac. This is very hot, as you would expect. Last time we filmed at my house, Frankie, I lost my scissors. I had to buy new scissors. Small Vine Mac. For those who didn't see the episode where we started this, this came from the Blount Company. Aaron's uncle donated it. It's a frozen Mac. We put it in this crazy thing. So now if you add like a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, you could call it your own and serve it at a restaurant. It's like right. our homemade Mac. And it looks pretty good. It does actually. Very creamy, natural looking cheese. Small Vine knows what he's doing. I don't really like it. No. It's very low on salt. Yep. That's a definite problem. Yeah. It's plenty creamy, but not very cheesy. And the pasta um, suffered from the process. Much better with salt. The kind of mushy, bodiless pasta. Yeah, if I had this in a restaurant, I wouldn't be very happy. As a side dish though, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I'll have mac as a side. And they put a little pepper on it to make it their own. You wanna throw some pepper on it? All right. I think uh, I might save it and have it as a side dish with some things. Where the mac is de-emphasized. Yeah. I don't know, I prefer the today's spirals to that. Yeah. Honestly, if I was gonna, yeah. So, there you have it. Japanese couldn't be done. It will be done in Unfinished Business Part 2. <laughs> we still didn't finish Finish it, finishing <laughs> formally. Riskier under. business. And the spirals is better than the Mac that should have been good. I'm not impressed. I'd rather have Stouffer's by far. Coming up next on Box Mac, definitely the Japanese one at some point. At some point. We still have, you know, the Festival of Spirals. No. No. But we do have Rotini. And there could be a Festival of Rotini. Here we go. We might not have made the Japanese Mac, but we've done international Macs before. Check out this Iceland Mac we did in Macs of the North. And don't miss Scavenger Junk, where we search Junt's property for hidden gems on Red Cow Entertainment. Mm -hmm.